Welcome to downtown Halabadu. The last known resting place, the task of Ganesh. Spectacular. Hmm. Huh. what? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. It's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadu? Stands, but they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. On the stairs down. What's left of them anyway? Yeah. Okay. Ready? the way up. There, look. You can see some structures beneath the falls. In the rock. Up we go, then. That. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Huh? 
Because you said, please. I didn't, actually. Once you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him, Pahana Vidu. He's also the lord of good fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Fun out there? You know it. <sighs> Woo! Amazing. We're doing great, China. We'll be doing better when we get to the crown. Surprised we haven't seen Saab yet. Knock on wood. When he's around, Dalt will see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have a stone to climb with high. <laughs> I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Huh? Oh, no! oh, oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. Worth it? Impressive. Yeah. Oh. Now, how do we get off this thing? Okay. Easy does it. Feels more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Is our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Wow, nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? Trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia, like a normal person. It's our old friends, Parashurama and Ganesh. Friends? Looks like they're fighting. 
Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. Well, it's not a fair fight. Ganesh isn't even armed. I guess it's not really his style. Oh God, Raisa! out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. <clears throat> they barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You'd think after two prior invasions they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. chamber. Through here. Right behind you. Hey, look. Armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. Is this all Persian? Uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Now we're getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. Here we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony. Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. <laughs> what the hell? Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. <sighs> Wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fellow. There we go. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. device looks familiar. Huh. Well, that's different. What is all this? If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the X? Yeah. 
The one that Shiva Ganesh's father gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. Alright, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Let's try this. Over you go. I see what's happening. The shadows make the mules. Good. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. I think that's it. We did it. Doors open. All in a day's work. Salah and the tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. <laughs> Ready? Oh. Careful. Hmm. Amazing. What the sh 
Shaver. Mm, my thoughts exactly. Razor? Ross? Oh no, no, it's okay. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay? Where the hell's the tusk? I don't know, none of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva is the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city? And it was a wonderful target for the Persians. And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? Oh, shit. This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose! Uh, Grab the edge, quick! Uh, 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 Razor! I'm A huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. <laughs> the water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. Oh. That's all right. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. None of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me. Right. Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. Marco Polo. <laughs> 
Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> so they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Huh? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Didn't give it up easily. Yeah, right. I remember. You take left, I take right. That works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from. Right. Above you. Right. Sorted. We're not in the line of fire. It's that thing carved on the floor. What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. Up here. Think there's a way through. <laughs> Poor bastards. I don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. <laughs> Hear that? I do.
Yep, there's the aqueduct. <laughs> Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. That's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Take your... Leave her alone, asshole! Let's make this quick. You're making this easy. Give me back my disc. Come get it. Swing in a miss. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. Shit. You see. To rule a people, you must first sow chaos. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you. Fraser, get him! Son of a bitch! Grab on the stomach! <laughs> Anything! You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Mm. Hey, take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. <sighs> uh, can I just say... You were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. 
Hi. You sure you're good to go? As good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. Up here. Go slow. Let's get that thing open. Shiva's gatekeeper. That's got to be the entrance to the old capital. It had to be triggered by the aqueducts. Yep. Oh, shit. Asov's already heading inside. Okay, well, better get down there. Come on. No. What do you mean, no? Same Drake. He's a goddamn big but same Drake. Yeah. Peace. You know what? This is a good thing. I can kill two birds with one stone. Nadine. What? What? Sam's kind of the reason why we're here in the first place. Oh, you better be joking. This was my deal. <gasps> Sam went ahead to do recon oh, for me on the disc, but then he went missing and I couldn't leave you him You knew my history dead. with Sam and then you dragged me into this anyway? Your history with the Sav made you the obvious... <laughs> Don't hold back or anything. Oh, I did. You know what, Nadine? This doesn't change anything. You'll still get your share. Yeah? Or maybe you and Sam will cut me out as soon as you get the task. Come on, man, that's not how I operate. That's exactly how your type operates. And to think I trusted you. Listen. I was going to tell you about Sam. I swear I was just waiting for the right time to... It's fine. I could use the exercise. Shit. I better go after her. This is what I get for being honest. Socked in the door. Glad I thought to pack painkillers. Of course, they're back in the 4x4. Four four. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> well, at least I've still got my dignity. This way. 
like it. Oh, oh, oh shit. Get down, get down. Holy shit, is that Nadine? Oh, she's really stepped in it now. I hate to get to her. You're not getting that deposit back.
We're clear. You need a hand? There we go. You're welcome. You lied to my face. I didn't lie. I just left out the part about Sam. <laughs> Incredible. Look, Asav is getting a head start and we need to hurry. We? I... Spit it out! Okay, cards on the table. I need your help. Should have thought of that before. And if you want the tusk, you need mine. Look, I screwed up, okay? <laughs> this is your idea of an apology. Well, if it helps to keep your head in the game, then sure. Listen, we both have something to lose here. Am I right? Just so we're clear. My priority's the task. Not Sam Drake. And certainly not you. Fair enough. <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sure we're not followed. Huh. That's a good idea. Oh, what was that? Exactly what it sounded like. Kings ushered their people into these tunnels. What? We didn't find the entrance. We found the back door. Okay. Looks like a step well. You don't care. Shh. You hear that? She's wounded. Those explosions we heard must have triggered the collapse. Easy girl. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. We're gonna get you out.
Here. <clears throat> Want some of this? Look, I am... Um, I'm not very good at the whole people thing. You're a selfish dickhead. Yeah. You're right. I am a selfish dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to hear you say it. <laughs> well, did you hear that, Dad? Did get something from you after all. What happened with your father? He was the guy that couldn't walk away. The Ministry of Culture offered to finance one more of his expeditions, because this time he said he was onto something big. <laughs> he was always onto something big. But. Bandits raided his camp, and, um... Local authorities found him weeks later. And this stupid thing is all I have left of him. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. <laughs> he certainly made his choice. So, listen, Fraser, you don't have to. Ah! It's a Dewey. Charging, I think. Tell it to stop, because I speak elephant. She was so distressed. Hey, about the whole Sam. Uh, look, I get it. All right? I've got my own shit to sort out as well. Let's not have that stand in the way anymore, eh? Okay. Deal. Come on. Well, if we accomplish nothing else today, at least we reunited the family. Oh, just keep your distance. <laughs> that bull will kill you. I suppose it would be a shame to come all this way and die right now. <laughs> I'll take this one. Oh. Okay, thanks. Move over a little? That's good. Now, reach that way and hold out your hand. What? <laughs> Much safer way to pet an elephant. Much obliged. Maybe 
Yeah, it's been a while, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. Nice of a serve to leave some supplies for us. Mm. Load up if you need it. Good call. Up here. Upstairs. I see light through the water. <laughs> <laughs> 